Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting previously, Microsoft is working on a redesign of the Edge browser codenamed Phoenix, or also called Project Phoenix, which according to Microsoft is designed to differentiate the Edge browser from other browsers, which brings a new user interface to match the look and feel of Windows 11. Now, just to let you know that I have noticed in my region overnight that some of these rounded corners and visual effects and um, design changes are now making their way into the stable version of Microsoft Edge for desktop, which is currently on version 114, where previously that was not the case. And if you wanted to enable any of the features for Project Phoenix in the stable version, as I have posted previously, we had to enable a whole bunch of experimental flags. And I'll, I'll actually leave that video down below in the description if you'd like to go check that out. Now, um, just to let you know, as mentioned, that we are now getting some of the visual redesign changes being made available by default in the stable version. And the first um, are we get the rounded tabs. So we can see the tab now has rounded corners and actually gives the visual appearance and effect of so-called hovering or floating above the actual browser. And then the browser frame now has rounded corners. So those corners were previously square, and we can actually see now that the browser frame now takes on a more rounded effect. And by the way, um, just to see this a little bit better, um, if we head to our settings appearance page and we enable the uh, light theme, we will actually be able to see those rounded browser frame corners a lot better. So as you can see, um, the visual effect now applied to the frame. And uh, the other change that has rolled out with this um, update is the acrylic effect in the menu. So if we right click as an example, we can actually see that orange from the desktop background showing through the menu, which gives it a transparent or a translucent effect. So that's what we call acrylic effect in menus. And uh, these changes for Project Phoenix now rolling out to the stable version seem to be rolling out using a controlled server side update. I'm only seeing these changes on my Windows 11 device in the stable version of Edge and not currently on my Windows 10 device. And um, I, I've noticed that they, these changes are not part of any recent update. So these are being pushed out now using a server-side update. And you may have seen some of these in your region. You may have not just bringing it to your attention in case you're unaware. And this actually means now that the only Project Phoenix visual redesign change that I'm noticing that hasn't made its way yet to the stable version of Microsoft Edge, which I have featured previously, is moving the profile picture and your menu from the top right to the top left, which um, we can do um, by changing and uh, adjusting an experimental flag. And as mentioned, I'll leave that previous video down below because that is part of the experimental changes using flags we did make in that previous video. So moving the profile menu from the toolbar from the top right to the title bar to the top left is the only change that I can see as mentioned that hasn't made its way yet and which were was and were originally available for the Project Phoenix visual redesign. So interesting that Microsoft now has more or less made the whole pack package available now in the stable version to match the look and feel of Windows 11. Now, um, just on a side note, if you would like to disable um, the rounded tabs and the rounded browser frame and the... Um, the acrylic effect in the menus and would like to put everything back to how it was prior to these changes, then it is actually possible. We can disable a couple of experimental flags. So to do this, um, we just head to our address bar as always. We enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And to disable the rounded effect and the rounded features, just type in rounded. There we go. Uh, this is the rounded corners and the uh, rounded tabs. And you can see now that both of these are actually default features. So we have to change that now to disabled. And then we would have to restart the stable version of Microsoft Edge to um, bring those changes into effect. And now if we head back, we can actually see that the tab and the tabs are now um, once again attached to the actual browser, so to speak. And the rounded corners have been removed. And the browser frame now is back to how it was previously. It's back to the square look. The rounded browser frame and the corners have once again been removed. And if you want to disable the acrylic effect, once again, we just type in 
acrylic. Uh, and once again, this is now a default feature. So we have to disable, uh, change that to disabled, restart the browser to apply that change. And now if we head back, we can actually see now that that has once again become a solid menu and there is no transparency effect now available in the actual menus. So um, that's how you can actually disable those um, rounded corners and the acrylic effect by disabling those experimental flags. And just to let you know that um, flags are not options, they are experiments as I have mentioned previously. So, so currently these flags are available but Microsoft may remove these flags at any given time to be able to disable the Project Phoenix visual redesign changes mentioned today in this video. So just take note of that. And if you do want to put everything back to normal, we just go to all of these flags and we just put them back now to default. And we can then restore everything back to the default appearance settings, which are now part and parcel of the Project Phoenix visual redesign. So there we go. Just changing those flags back to default has brought all the changes back once again to the tabs, the browser frame, and the actual acrylic effect in those menus. And another recent change, which I did post on, which was part of Project Phoenix, was the split screen. And I'll actually leave a link to that video down below. And um, in the end screen of uh, this actual video, I will leave the playlist for Project Phoenix. So you can go check that out more in depth if you would be interested to the user interface visual redesign changes now that Microsoft is bringing and has been testing and which are now rolling out to the stable version of um, Microsoft Edge. And I'll leave that playlist in the end screen. So just letting you know, Project Phoenix becoming more widely available now uh, in the stable version of Edge for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.